Sorry about that. What's going on, everybody? I'm T. I'm your host. We're in the garage. And we've got stuff to do. We're in the midst of a, a build-off of sorts, the Piggy Bank Horsepower Challenge. Type in the hashtag Piggy Bank Horsepower. You'll see everybody involved trying to make power on a budget. But right now, we're waiting on stuff before we can proceed further with the uh, free 83. You'll have to check out that build. It's on my channel. And while we wait though, we do have other things to do. Looking down the barrel of my 1968 Dodge Charger and it's upset 440, shall we say? And it needs to come out. And what we aim to do is get this feller in its place so we can drive this thing throughout the summer while we save up some coin to fix the 440. This one's called the Moho Motivator. What we need to do here is get this thing all cleaned up, remove all the unnecessaries. We'll see how far we get. Clean up on aisle four with the Moho Motivator. And if I can get this engine ready to go, get it pulled, we'll do that too. thousand miles worth of gunk on this thing. Let's see how clean we can get it. scrubbing, wire brushing, degreaser and brake clean later. We actually have an engine with a little bit of color on it and it's not perfect yet. I'm not done. But I wanted to see the contrast here and yeah this side looks a little bit bleh still. A little bit uh, crusty and I'm not gonna get too crazy. I mean I'll clean off as much of the crust and scale and gross as I can. So a little bit more cleaning and then uh, we'll probably move over here and start to work on getting this one out. Wish it was that easy. Out. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that's not going to happen. So we'll have to actually do the work. I'm trying to decide where to start. I've got the car up on blocks of sorts. Ramps, I guess. Getting ready to drain the coolant. And then, you know, we'll start disconnecting everything <laughs> get the radiator out of the car we're just gonna dive right in i guess I was trying to catch all of it in a bucket. I missed. <laughs> Man, how little did we actually get in the bucket? That's terrible.
driving a ratty car. Still try to be nice and gentle, but I am not worried about scratching paint. I think that's pretty much everything top side. Now I gotta go under. I usually try to do that the opposite, get the hard crap done first. side motor mount bolt also out. I'm gonna go ahead and start undoing the flex plate bolts. I think for this. I'm going to get up there and loosen the starter connections. And I've got this bracket also on the oil pan rail that keeps the uh, shifter cable out of the header. So I'll get those things done next. This is kind of where I prefer to turn the camera off because it's mostly just me cursing for 15 minutes. I'm trying to get out that bolt in the engine that also holds the transmission dipstick. Yeah, that one's fun. Stay on there. Oh yeah, it broke loose. Oh Lord of mercy. I don't know what you're looking at right now, but but we have some success. Now we're just loosening that stupid bolt. Cletus. <laughs> it's got to be loose. Now we'll just try not to get hit by the mile of extensions and pull the ones out that are stuck. And there is a fastener attached. Woohoo! Another one broke loose. Amazing. Well, I do believe I have everything disconnected underneath. I'm going to drop the car to the ground, get a jack under the transmission, and uh, we'll get the picker out. is not faring well. We missed on that. And there's still plenty of cooling in the block. That's awesome. <laughs> Making a nice mess.
see if I can tie that lower hose up somewhere. disaster under there. is out it's attached to a stand kind of a little worried about it there's a lot of weight here whereas before it just had the free 83 short block on it which I opted to move to this stand we're gonna see <laughs> we're gonna find out real quick if this stand is up to the task I mean the base is this thing's built beefier than freaking a herd of cattle I almost don't know if I trust the stand by itself right now until I can get a few things taken off of it. Might be leaving the, the picker hooked up. Engine out, transmission semi-secured for the time being. Hopefully this engine bay won't be empty for long. I've got the uh, predecessor, I guess you'd say, out on the stand. A two by four under the front to just help bear the load sketchy sure there's a lot of weight right here i wish i had a hanging scale to check that in the near future though probably after we put this back together we're going to get into this we're going to tear this down and see exactly what is failing what is making the nasty noise and hopefully this one can get repaired and and put back into working order before too long Got lots of other stuff that need engines. That said, I don't want the Moho motivator to be a permanent piece either. <sighs> One of these days it would be nice to start seeing this thing go back together, you know, as original. I've got the original drivetrain, the numbers matching 383. It's an HP 383 car. I want to put it back together that way. I really need to square the engine compartment away. Once it goes in, I don't want it to have to come back out. And the car doesn't need a ton of metal work as far as underneath goes. Frame rails are great. Floors are probably 95% solid. Really the, uh, the major metal in this one, of course, this fender, it's gonna need a quarter on each side. And I'm not gonna be able to show you the trunk floor right now. Trunk's bad. Before any of that happens, we've gotta get all of these sorted out before we can get to that guy under there we'll get an engine back in the charger we'll do some summer driving that's the plan hopefully this thing doesn't suck looks like i need a fuel pump i did some work to that apparently moving it around and i'm gonna guess a timing chain would be a good investment for this one lots to do lots to think about if you have any suggestions, any helpful comments, feel free to drop those down below. And of course, we'll be back to the free 83 as soon as we get some parts. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate you uh, watching. I appreciate you subscribing. If you haven't already, please click that button. Go ahead and subscribe to see what else we've got going on in the Mopar world. And if it's not too much trouble, feel free to hit that like button. I would appreciate that very much. You guys great? 
Thanks for coming along as we made a mess of the garage. That's what's gonna have to happen here after the camera goes off. I've depleted my rag supply, so we'll get to that. Thanks for watching everybody. Take care and we'll see you on the next one.